We also need to figure out how to keep AI from destroying humanity. It's not necessarily just going to guarantee this utopian future. I'm Josh Clark, I'm a podcaster, and uh, I'm the co-host of Stuff You Should Know, and I am the host of The End of the World with Josh Clark. In this 10-part series, Josh explores the most pressing existential risks that could lead humanity to its demise, scientifically speaking. So I started doing The End of the World because I came across a paper by this guy named Nick Bostrom called uh, Are You Living in a Computer Simulation? And that kind of brought me into this world of learning about existential risks. From asteroid collisions to nuclear war, existential risks range from natural disasters to anthropogenic catastrophes. No matter the origin, these perilous global threats have the potential to wipe out humanity as we know it. The problem is, is right now, not enough people know about the existential risks to care about it. The next steps as a species or as a civilization are to funnel human capital into the study of existential risks. But by closely examining each oncoming risk, both theoretically and technologically, we're much more likely to be ready for them when they get here. So I was talking to a guy named Toby Ord, who is a uh, philosopher at the Future of Humanity Institute. He's a colleague of Nick Bostrom's. And Dr. Ord uh, is actually pretty hopeful that we're going to make it through this, this challenge of existential threats that are coming our way. He gives humanity something like a 50-50 chance of making it through. And some of the things that give him hope are the fact that we have demonstrated that we can do this. He points to the animal rights movement, the environmentalism movement, and from people standing up and saying, this is, this is a problem, we need to do something about this. And so Toby Ord's position is the same thing needs to happen with existential risks. And that once people start to understand the challenges that are coming down the pike, we can't help but start to care. And this is exactly the path that led Joss to creating this podcast. The more he researched, the more these risks became very real threats leading him to spread the word about existential risk in order to foster hope for the future of humanity. What's being laid out in front of us is possibly the greatest challenge that our species will ever have to go through. And the thing that, that I have the most hope for is that if we make it through the coming existential risks, what kind of positive effects will that have on humanity as a whole? And how great could it be? How much wonder and promise is there? We have this opportunity to be a better species on the other side of this 